In this example, I'm going to show you how to make a drop-down list so that you can make your own math templates or, or copy mine. It really doesn't matter. The first step that you want to do is develop a list of numbers in each cell. And so I'm going to do through uh, 0. And then I might add a, oh, I'll add a plus key. Oops, I did that wrong. So what you really need to do when you enter a plus key is enter the plus and then hit enter and that will place it in, in the cell. The same with equals because it actually is an operator in Excel. Whoops, I need to do it that way. And then hit enter. And let's see, we'll do a minus key. Again, hitting enter so that it doesn't affect um, or try to calculate our list and then maybe we'll throw uh, a remainder symbol in there. That's our list. What we want to do is affect this list here and have it populate every one of these cells. Well we can do it with one cell to start out with. I'll select the first cell. Going up to the data view which is not uh, showing, uh, but I'll bring it down data view and we go to data validation. In data validation we want to drop down where it says allow. Let's move this over so you can see it. Come on, there we go. I'll move it all the way over. We want to work from a list. Now the source will actually be this list here, so I just select the source button there and highlight my list. So each cell will populate based on what is there. Press enter to fix it and select OK. We'll notice then now we have, as we select that cell, we have our drop down list with all of our symbols. I've done this for algebra and uh, we can put exponents in there and depending on how we shape these these cells we can do quite a number of things. So once we've done that we simply select that cell, copy it, select a range of cells and paste that information in and now our drop-down list is in every cell leaving it open for a student to create the necessary problems to show their work. And that's how that works.